Welcome back, companions, to another Travelling with SB versus the Dining with SB series. This one's going to be the Dining with SB series, obviously, because as I said, the ones of the Travelling with event with SB and for the lie are now finished. But like I said, I'm just trying to collect these into series so that you guys can hopefully use this as information for later use if you do in the future decide to travel to New Zealand. Which as I said before, may not have said that Rotorua, Topo and the other parts of Bay of Plenty and what have you, as well as Hawke's Bay, right up to the tip of the North Island. It's known for tourist attractions and activities for tourists as you've seen previously in some of the videos that find the liar and I done of these activities that you, if, depends on what sort of holiday activities you want to do. Do you want to do it for thrill-seeking fun or do you just want to sit back and relax? It's just depending on the season of certain activities, maybe, you know, all year round versus also just se season dependable, obviously. And in saying this, hopefully, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these and if you did, let me know in the comment section below to let me know if you want to see more of these in the future of Father Lie and I doing some more travel. And hopefully this time around I can sway Father Lie and I to go actually down south to venture this time around most likely. But we'll just have to see in the future what schedule will bring between us. So as you're aware basically this is the Dining with SB series and just previously I just where we stayed in Rotorua which was the Million Hotel and then saying that also... I talked about Nico restaurant, a quick review and all that. And in saying this, most of the restaurants and accommodation that for the lie and I stayed will be hopefully listed in the description as well as a map above me for now part two will be the Max Steakhouse review. And in saying this, that second night we were in there for the four days, obviously for this they were really friendly, easy to approach obviously, they were really warm and welcoming as you come foot of the door, the atmosphere was pretty great obviously, or sitting and what have you, and in saying this, the customer service was on par obviously, despite it all, and in saying this based on their food and that as you can see in the next footage over that I'll show with you, as well as the drinks we decided to have. As you can see basically from these pictures, footages, from my standpoint that Mr. Vololai decided basically that he wanted to try and go alcohol free even though he should be considering of his epilepsy and what have you, like I'm trying to look out for him even though maybe I'm a bad example. I don't know, you could be the judge of that, but I, I feel I'm not a bad example because I've been trying to look out for him for the last few years of our relationship and in saying this based on this, that the food was pretty darn good, on par, we had to share some foods obviously, the price value for it was within our price bracket, but as Father Lai and I agreed when we were travelling we would go have some dining experience versus whatever we did decide on food and that as well as hopefully the activities that you've seen previously and that again as I said their service was pretty darn good they were friendly and whatnot and how they did gone about their customer service obviously prior to the previous one as I mentioned they actually did learn after we ordered our drinks they gave us at least a good extra two three minutes on top after the orders of our drinks to decide what mains entrees desserts whatever that was on the menu to have a look at so high prices for them I recommend for you guys to check them out and on saying this I've got two more to review and also from memory another accommodation where we went before we decided to go home because obviously we stayed for three days in this last place that we decided to do so stay tuned for that so and all for the do guys thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon